Hi everybody, welcome back to the hard reset info channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to fix no service or slow internet on your Samsung Galaxy A17. So, as you can see, I do have here the range, but here if you have no service or slow internet connection, like I do have now, because I do have two, only two lines. And first, I do recommend to toggle on and off the airplane mode. So at first, scroll from the top right corner to the bottom to open the uh, control panel and prolong this quick panel here. Here, you have to find the flight mode or airplane mode or aeroplane mode, as every single phone has every single name. Here, as I can see, we have flight mode. Let's turn this on. Wait five to six seconds, or maybe to ten, and then turn this option off. Now, uh, it should fix uh, and force the phone to re-register on the network, and it should restart the signal. As I can see now, we have four instead of two or three lines. It's very, very nice, actually. Apart from that, I did recommend to check SIM and network mode. Go to settings, here, go not to display, go to connections, here, and now tap on mobile networks, here. Here, ensure that the SIM card status is active. So, uh, turn. you have to turn this on, may actually, and here if you have your SIM turned on, Check on data roaming if you have national roaming only, and tap on the network operators uh, operators here. Here, enable select automatically. Now go back, go back, and go to the SIM manager. You should see that here your SIM card is enabled, and you have here your phone number. It should make a difference if you have it here disabled. <laughs> uh, to make it sure it is enabled click the switch and it should be blue. Apart from that, if you have your dual sims, confirm the correct sim is enabled for network and also set network mode to auto, as you could see uh, I had it here in mobile networks, preferred mode 5G, LG or LTE or 3G, just uh, enable every single network here, and so the phone can latch onto the best available network. I don't recommend to use 2G networks, uh, but of course emergency call may still connect using 2G, even when 2G networks aren't allowed. So yeah, that's the difference. So apart from that, I do recommend to reset completely the network settings. It will make you forget all the Wi-Fi, all the Bluetooth uh, connections, and uh, yeah, everything should be from these three things forgotten of course and data transmission so go to the main menu of your settings and scroll all the way down to the about phone no not about the phone to the uh, general management here my mistake sorry here tap reset and now from the reset not don't tap reset all settings tap only reset mobile network settings or even wi-fi and Bluetooth settings here, as I can see, here we do have this divided, but on the older Samsung phones with the One UI 6, 5, or 4, we have it, we had it not separated. Tap mobile network settings, and here reset settings. Now you have to enter your pin to your phone, not to your SIM on your phone, and yeah, tap reset. As I can see here, we had no signal, and now everything comes back to normal. Uh, it should uh, reboot our device and restore cellular Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to things to the default. Uh, of course, no personal data is lost. Don't worry. As you can see, I don't, it didn't reboot our phone, so we have to do this manually. Hold the volume down button along with the uh, power and tap restart. Tap restart again and it should make a difference. Apart from that, check for the carrier updates, as because sometimes the carrier pushes configuration updates to your phone, and especially if you have your phone bought in some T-Mobiles or, or straight from your carriers, and you pay 
them to the USB phone. Uh, I will show you this in a moment when our phone will be turned on, of course. Now, as you can see, our phone is here. We have to unlock it with our PIN code and tap OK. So here, as you can see, we do have our phone again. Let's wait until it set up, set, set up. and then we have to enter the settings. Here, we have to now scroll all the way down to the software update section. Tap that, and here, tap download and install. Here, if you have any update, update your phone. It should be either, uh, either fixed for your software, like from Samsung, or your carrier, or the security patch, just update that. You always, it's always recommended to have the update, always the last one. So that's how it works, actually. I have my Wi-Fi disabled, so remember that you have to have internet connection. <laughs> and then check it. Um, apart from that, if you have uh, everything done here correctly, and you don't have any updates pending here, you have to check your SIM card and cover it. So, uh, turn off your phone completely. And uh, I do recommend now to prepare what happened <laughs> to prepare yourselves a SIM card ejector, which is just a, a simple pin that you can use to eject the SIM card trace from your phone. It's here. It's uh, from the Apple old Apple phones. And now we have to let me move this flower here find the SIM card tray. It's over here. We have to put this pin straight to this hole here, as you can see, and pull it here. The SIM should be now open, available for us. If you don't have the SIM card ejector, you can use everything that's uh, that tight, but of course don't use sharp items, because it's because you can damage everything actually with the sharp items. Let's leave this here, leave our phone here, and here we do have our SIM card. If you have some microfiber cloth, you can just do a little wipe here. Just do a little wipe, of course, don't use the alcohol on your SIM card, don't use water, don't use everything like that, and be very careful with that. I reinsert it uh, now, place it back again here, and check if your carrier still supports your SIM card. Uh, if you have <laughs> uh, not paid a service, you won't have it. So you have to pay your uh, carrier to use it. For the internet, of course. And in the moment, now we can turn off our phone and check if we, if we have the service. Um, if you still uh, see no service and uh, make sure that you are in the non good coverage area it could be a carrier outage or sim issue i do advise you contacting with the carrier and uh, demonstrate the phone uh, yourself uh, check if your phone is connecting to your mobile data and make a test call actually it should be full uh, guide for you actually and it should be good now let me unlock my phone and as you can see I do have my range back again so now you can make a test call you now you as I said you can uh, do your phone connect your phone to the mobile data and check if everything is clear and fine 
And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment. If you have some opinions or drawbacks on a video, please let me know in the comments because I want to make the best videos for you. And to, I want to fix your problem. And now I hope that your that your Samsung Galaxy A17 uh, doesn't have no service or very very slow internet. And that's it. How it helps you. And have a nice day. Goodbye.